hopefully I'm gonna put it on Noise Trade, um, probably in, in a couple of weeks. Make it available for uh, just an email address. And uh, but yeah, right now it's another one on the stream. Definitely. Um, one one other track that I wanted to talk about, uh, multicolored coat, and it's uh, featuring uh, Jody uh, Jermaine. When I when I when I seen the name of it, I was like trying to see what it's about, and that's with with with, with your tracks too. You look at the title, and you're like, okay, what is this about? And then when you hear it, and you get what what the song's about. It, it really opens up your eyes or it helps you fully understand what it's about and that that's that's what I love about music too you can go through each one of these songs you think you may know what the what the track's about or you may be like hmm what is that about and then when you hear it that's your mind kind of opens up to it and um, but but talk about the 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 making of that track and I believe there's a video for that as well uh, but talk about that one to the listeners um that's like that song is different for me as far as how I normally do songs because uh, <clears throat> excuse me I was actually driving um I was in the car I can't remember what I was doing I think I was doing, I do uh, I was doing dog walking part time I think I was on my way to a dog walk and uh, it just hit my spirit like make a song about uh, the coat of many colors you know Joseph stuff like that right. um you know it's 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 because it's uh, I like Joseph. I love his story. That's probably one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Uh, like we have a lot of similarities, even down to like the like I got twelve. Like I'm one of twelve siblings, and um, just you know dealing with rejection and just different things, man. And uh, and it, it just hit me. And uh, I didn't have a beat. I didn't have a concept or or um, any lyrics. I just knew I wanted to make a song like that. And then multicolored coat came to me because I like to try to say it in a different way, you know. Yeah. Joseph doesn't call it a multicolored coat, he calls it a coat of many colors, but I just wanted to make it different. And uh, I actually picked a beat for a concept of a song for the first time. Normally I pick a beat, and then whatever I hear is and then the Lord will give me what I'm, what I'm going to be talking about on this song, or an idea will come after I hear a beat. And this time it was vice versa. I already had the concept, and I went through this website to buy a beat. I went through that website for like 45 minutes to find the perfect beat, and I found it. And... Uh, that was that was that, that that's how multicolored coat came about and then uh i just heard i just heard i knew J- jody jermaine would be a, a good feature initially i had it was just me on it when i first released it because when i first when i first recorded that song man it's so different from normal what, what i do i think that i was scared to drop it like i asked my wife multiple times like this is good man i don't know people ain't gonna like this and then uh i sent it to my dude jody jermaine uh because they were going to do his boy and him was going to do a video for me on the song, and I said I want to do it with this song. And I'm like, "Yo, you want to get on it?" Because he was like, "Yo, this joint is fire." It was like at first I didn't want to ask him because I didn't think it was good enough. You know what I mean? He like, "Bro, yes, I want, I want to be on that." He sent me the verse like two days later. I mixed it, we put it out, man, and uh, it's been probably the most, uh, I'd say, most re- well received track I've dropped. As far as the level of shares and interactions and people talking about that track, it's a, it's, it's my version of a, of a of a pop song, if you will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. Um, so, I posed um, in our show chat room if there was any questions for you. I do have two, uh, if you don't mind. No problem. Uh, so, this is from Miss Mocha Bella. People don't actually use their real names. You probably know that already. <laughs> but, <laughs> Uh, she said, ask him, does he feel his music gets to young people who need Christ in their life? Absolutely. 100%. Like, that's that's the main goal. Um, I mean, but the Bible is so universal that it, you can be young or old and it's going to get to you. But um, I think a lot of young people, like, I mean, people that hit, people tell me all the time, yeah, my son hurts your music, this and that. And, you know, I've done shows and uh, kids give their life to Christ and young people give their life to Christ uh, at the shows and stuff like that. And it's, it's just the, the word of God is in it. My testimony is it. And, uh, you, you know, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, word of our testimony. So it allows, you know, it, just share your testimony. Because to me, that's the greatest, that's the greatest miracle period like walking on water school all that but 
to change somebody's heart and to make them, you know, follow and desire righteousness. Um, that, that's the most amazing thing that you know, we live in a wicked world, man. So the way God changed my heart, the way he uh, changed my whole direction of my life, it's just when I tell people how I thought prior to him revealing himself to me, they understand that this thing is real. And, and I can't just tell you, I'm not telling you based off of me going to church, I'm telling you based off of what Christ did in my life. And, uh, and I think a lot of kids, they uh, a lot of young people, the youth, they uh, they can relate to the realness of it. They feel like it's authentic. I'm not straight. I'm not being fake. I'm very transparent in my music. But at the same time, I don't compromise when it comes to the word that I put God expects I put to what he can do for us. So, yeah, I definitely believe in this. Right. Um, and the other question she had is, do you mentor young people? Yes. Uh, I know God. God is telling me I need to do that more. But uh, this one young brother that I've been mentoring, he does the same thing. Uh, Christian rap. He also, uh, I have a moving labor business. He, he's also one of my workers for my company. And uh, he's a brother that's extremely talented. Um, but he's rooted in the word. And he has a lot of people that are, you know, the, 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 that are after him with his talent. And, and so it's not necessarily people who are truly rooted in Christ. It's a lot of, you know, worldly type of, you know, advances towards him. And, uh, you know, I just try to tell them about, you know, staying rooted in the Word, make sure you're led by the Spirit. But I definitely want to uh, increase as far as the, 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 the mentoring that I do and being more hands-on with the youth. And, uh, I definitely need to step it up in that area outside of the music. Definitely. And I appreciate those questions. Uh, Ms. Bella, much love for those. So we got St. Jones on the show. And uh, put put a plug in for the company. Because I, I seen you called in. It said uh, Kingdom Moving Company. Um, so so put the plug in. Where is it located? Um, where How can people contact you if they need your services? Yes, we are, uh, we are located in Columbus, Ohio. We service Central Ohio. Uh, eventually, we do want to be, you know, interstate where we do the long distance moves and stuff like that. And then I think of, uh, eventually I'm going to open up one in the South as well. But right now, we service Central Ohio. Um, the website is kingdommoving.net. Um, and then also uh, 614-796-5772. If you're in that area, you need a move. You know somebody who needs a move. Uh, have them call us. Um uh, Check us out on Facebook as well. Like the page. Uh, just search Kingdom Moving Company on Facebook. And uh, you can find us. We've been in business for about three years. It's been off and on. But right now, God is moving. And I think I'm, and I know that I'm, I'm committed to uh, taking it to the next level. So uh, we're looking for workers too, man, in Central Ohio. So if y'all need some extra money, man, let me know. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, before I let you go, I know that you are a Lakers fan. And uh, you got to get your thoughts on this upcoming year. Um, you got LeBron's first year, and you got Anthony Davis coming over. So, so what's your thoughts on on the Lakers? I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be nice, honestly. Uh, <laughs> boy, I was waiting. I don't think the, the Anthony Davis signing alone was good enough, but I think the piece that they filled in. I did not want them to get quite right, honestly. It's already enough bandwagon Lakers fans who came <laughs> just as LeBron is there to the right. point where I wanted the uh, genie bus to trade LeBron because I got sick of <laughs> the circus that came along with him. But I, I think I think it's gonna be an excellent year. I'm look, I'm thinking 50, 50 plus wins or probably fifty four ish is what I'm saying thinking. But I still think that um I still think the Clippers are the team to beat, man. That that, that defensively. And just like that's going to be wild. Wow, they're coaching. Doc Rivers is a proven future Hall of Fame coach, I believe. And uh, I, I just think that I think the Clippers are, are, the, are the team to beat in the West. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you. Um, but I do, like I've been saying, I think we're going to see an all LA conference finals, especially with the way the Warriors are looking now. They're going to have a down year. They're not going to be the same, you know. You, Add uh, D'Angelo Russell. You, you hope that they will be the same, but they won't be the same. Um, so I think all LA, which that'll bring so much, so much publicity that, that's already in LA to LA again. 
And uh, they, LA is ruling, going to be ruling the, the Western Conference at this point. So right. that's, that's a good sight to see, especially Lakers fans. But yeah, you, you, you guys are going are gonna to get some more bandwagoners. So just be prepared. I'm used to it, man. My dad's a Lakers fan, so I grew up a Lakers fan. And uh, I'm used to uh, having Lakers fans every year. Definitely. It's but, uh, weird when we see. Yeah, when, and when, when y'all win that championship, too, you know, it's going to be, yeah, oh, man, yeah. I've been a fan with them since since 1994. Man, you, you lying, man. You just became, <laughs> <laughs> just became a fan yesterday. You wasn't out there on the floor. But I, I, I do say that when it comes to the Cowboys, so I can't lie. But... <laughs> My man St. Jones, thank you for coming on the show. I'm glad that uh, you had time this Saturday to come on. I wanted to do my best to talk about and to get you on to talk about the album uh, that's out now. Like you said, wherever music is sold, wherever you can get it. The Psalms, Volume 4, TP4. I'll be playing the track uh, at the end of the show as well. Uh, So much love, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Let me know when the next project comes out. I'll probably see it on our social media, but i uh, love to get you back on again. Absolutely, bro. Anytime, man. I greatly appreciate you having me on, man, for the second time. Bless me. Love what you do, man. No problem. Appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Good as well, man. All right. Take care. All right. St. Jones. Man. Man. Uh, dope EP. Dope uh, album, excuse me. But also, I'm loving this show. I'm loving the three-hour show, man. It gives gives me time. I'm not pressured on what time I have to end. Uh, the guests are coming through. They're doing a great job. We had uh, Ty Mack at the beginning. We had my man D. Murph. Also, uh, St. Jones on the show. Go get the album, man. You you If you didn't hear it on Tuesday, here, I'm going to give you a freebie right here. Tuesday, I did the Dope Music Podcast. I played most of the tracks. I didn't play all of them, but I played most of them. You can go download that uh, episode. You can hear most of the tracks. or you can just go back and listen to it. But it's worth listening. It's worth downloading. Um, it, you can relate to it. I guarantee you, you can relate to it. So coming up next on this show, my man, Courtney Harden, the real deal with Courtney Harden. Trying to get him back into doing his show. I get it. A hundred percent get it because I've had to change the times on my show numerous times. Uh, it's life. Things happen. Uh, but I, I want to get him back on the air as soon as possible because he has he has and does a great show himself, a great delivery, great guests as well. So he'll be coming on the show, talking Pacquiao Thurman. Also talking about his Eagles, how he feels about the offseason. And also how he feels about the NBA summer NBA trade. So he'll be calling in here in just a moment. Thank you all for tuning in to Saturday edition of the BS3 Sports Show coming up. On the network, we'll have A-Trap B end of the bench coming on at 4 Central, 5 Eastern. Tomorrow on the network, we'll have uh, Tiger Park coming on at 2 Central. So make sure to keep it locked, man. A lot of great content, great shows. Courtney Harden in the building. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Ben? How you doing? Thanks for letting me come on. Definitely, man. Definitely, and we we got to work together to get your show back on the air. I know, like I said, life happens. I know you got things going on, uh, but your audience awaits you. So, <laughs> <laughs> definitely, thanks, man. I know I've been, uh, you know, I know we've been putting it off because it's been just a crazy summer, man. It's these last few months have been just just crazy. Like you said, life goes on, life happens, and work and I you know I spent some time I think I'm gonna come on right before the NFL season starts so be the best time cool cool we're definitely gonna make it happen so Courtney Harden host of The Real Deal 
with Courtney Harden.